My name is Alex Alexander, and I am the pastor here at Fellowship Bible Church. One thing I want FBC to be known for, it's really two things, I think, and I'm just going to steal some of Jesus' words here um, from Matthew 22, when he said the, the, the greatest commandment, you know, when, when he's being asked what is the greatest commandment, he says to love God and others like it, to love people. Uh, to love others as yourself. I, I would want us to be known as a church that uh, loves God, that worships Him with everything that we've got, and at the same time, loves people, loves our neighbor, loves one another uh, here at the church, uh, loves the people that uh, we work with. So I, I want us to be known for loving God and loving people. Well, for fun, Wendy and I like to explore new places to eat so that's one of our favorite things friday night is date night for us and uh and so we like to find a new place uh, in the area whether it's here in longview or i've also heard there's some other great restaurants um maybe over in tyler and some other areas maybe towards Kilgore and some other places and so you can usually find us on a friday night date night probably trying a new place to eat Well, Wendy and I met in college. Actually, I was a freshman in college and she would have been a junior in high school. She was a couple of years younger than me. She's actually three years younger than me and two grades younger than me. But my freshman year of school, her older sister uh, was at the same college that I was. And so Wendy came into town to visit uh, her older sister. So that's the first time that we met. But of course, at that time, I was a freshman in college and she was just a junior in high school. Uh, and so we were just friends. Then fast forward two years later, I'm now a junior in college. She's a freshman in college. So she eventually ended up at Hardin Simmons University is where we met. And, um, and uh, the, the truth is I, I wouldn't date her because she was a freshman, and even though I liked her. Uh, I might've flirted with her a lot. But then finally my senior year, she was a sophomore and that's when we started dating. And right at the end of my senior year, that summer after I graduated, we got married and we've been married 32 years. My favorite thing about being a pastor is watching people's lives change, like right in front of you, life transformation. Whether that's the gospel gets a hold of somebody's life for the first time, um, maybe they've been far from Christ and they have an encounter with Christ. And, uh, and so to watch that um, unfold in their life, moving from death to life, uh, is super exciting. And, and then also, I think, just watching people grow in their faith. And so people taking the next step on their journey of faith. Maybe they're already a Christ follower, but they're becoming more mature uh, in their faith. Um, but for me, it's really all about watching uh, lives be transformed. Wow, an interesting thing about me might be that in another life, I was a musician or I was a, a music evangelist, really, in college. And then um, years ago, we lived here in the Longview area and I was part of a Southern Gospel Quintet. And we traveled all throughout East Texas. This would have been back in the mid to late 90s. And uh, so we traveled around East Texas and I we sang all the Gaither vocal band songs and all the stuff that you did. Uh, in the 90s. And then on top of that, I've had the opportunity to sing the national anthem uh, at a Texas Ranger game, not once, but twice. So that might be something that people find interesting. Oh, my favorite musical artist. This is tough to answer. Um, when I was younger, when I was like middle school, high school, uh, it would have to have been Rick Springfield uh, because I think Jesse's Girl is the greatest pop song ever written. Um, so, uh, so again, like in my middle school, high school years, it had to be Rick Springfield. By the time I got to college, uh, I wanted to be Stephen Curtis Chapman. So that was probably my favorite musical artist. And then I just couldn't pick one today because I listen to all kinds of music, love all kinds of music. Lately, I feel like God's been teaching me to be still. 
um, was a few weeks ago, I was reading in Genesis chapter uh, 28, I think it is, and it's the story of uh, Jacob, and he's leaving Beersheba on his way to Iran, and along the way he stops, and he puts a rock, and I guess he's probably tired, he puts a rock uh, under his head, uses it as a pillow, and he has a dream. So he falls asleep, he has a dream, and it's the dream that we know of Jacob's ladder or as the scripture says, this the stairway to heaven, not the, uh, was that Led Zeppelin song? <laughs> Anyways, so this is Jacob's stairway to heaven. He, he has this dream and it's a very vivid dream. And when he wakes up, he says, um, man, uh, surely God is in this place and I wasn't aware of it. And so when I read that, I just thought to myself, how many times has maybe God been doing something that he's been up to something? Um, he's been present, he's been in my midst, and he's been doing something, but I've missed out on it. And so when I say be still, I mean, be still, be in the moment, uh, don't miss the awe and the wonder.